class 6 IMO level 2. Mathematics question number 1. Which of the following option shows the greatest 6 digit odd number that can be formed using the digits 37904 and 1 using each digit only once? The greatest 6 digit odd number that can be formed using the digits is 9,74,301. Mathematics question number 2. Diksha bought 27 packets of sweet each containing 65 sweets. She then packed all of them into small bags of 15 sweets each. How many small bags did she use? One packet contains 65 sweets. And the number of sweets Diksha bought is equal to number of sweets in, in one packet into number of packets, which is equal to 1755. Then number of packets she packed is equal to total sweets divided by number of sweets in each bag which is equal to 117. Mathematics question number 3. Priya drove 15 kilometers towards west, then 18 kilometers towards east. Which of the following option represents her position with respect to, her, to the starting point? If east represents positive integer and west rep represents negative integer, given distance Priya drove, drove towards the west is Minus 15 km. Distance Priya drove to the east is equal to 18 km. Her position with respect to the starting point is minus 15 plus 18 which is equal to plus 3 km. Mathematics question number 4. Out of 208 people in a party, 48 were children. The remaining people, males and females, are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Find the number of males and females in the party respectively. Total adults in the party is 160. Number of males in the party is equal to 2 by 5 into 160 which is equal to 64. Similarly, number of females in the party is equal to 96. So, the answer is D. Mathematics question number 5. How many of the following letters have perpendicular lines? 5 letters have perpendicular lines. Mathematics question number 6. A right angle is dash of a revolution and a straight angle is dash of a revolution. When an object is making one complete turn, it means it is completing 360 degree. One right angle makes 90 degree and there are four right angles in 360 degree. Which can be written as 90 by 360 which is equal to 1 by 4. Similarly, for the straight angle, one straight angle makes 180 degree and there are two straight angles in 360. So, 180 by 360 is equal to 1 by 2. So, the answer is B. Mathematics question number 7. Workers in a factory are paid according to the following rates. If a worker worked from Friday to Tuesday, then how, then how much total money will he get? So, total money he got from the factory by working on Friday, Monday and Tuesday is equal to 550 rupees into 3, which is equal to 1650. Total money he got from Saturday and Sunday is 700 into 2, which is equal to 1400. Adding these two, we will get 3050. So, he earned 3050 rupees. Mathematics question number 8. A square and a rectangle have the same area of 144 centimeters square. If the length is 4 cm more than the side of the square, then find the breadth of the rectangle. Area of square is equal to side into side. 12 into 12 is equal to 144. So, one side of the square is equal to 12 cm. Given length of the rectangle is equal to side of the square plus 4, which is equal to 16 cm. Using this, we can find the breadth of the rectangle. If we find, we will get 9 cm. Mathematics question number 9. Which of the following is not an equivalent ratio of 84 is to 48? In order to check this, we have to find the equivalent fraction of 84 by 48. If we divide this by 12, to find the equivalent fraction, we will get 7 by 4 as the equivalent fraction. Similarly, by 6, we will get 14 by 8. By 4, we will get 21 by 12. By 2, we will get 42 by 24. Here, the second one, that is the B option, is not corresponding to the option over here. 
and they have us not an equivalent ratio. So we will choose the B option. Mathematics question number 10. What is the least number which when divided by 15, 18 and 21 leaves remainder as 2, 5 and 8 respectively? To find the least number that can be divisible by 15, 18 and 21, let us find the LCM. If we find LCM using the division method, we will get 630 as the LCM. When we subtract the remainder from the divisor, we get 15 minus 2 that is 13, 18 minus 5 13, 21 minus 8 13. Here we can see all the three numbers least the remainder of 13. So, the least number which when divisible by 15, 18 and 21, least remainder 2, 5 and 8 is LCM minus 13 which is equal to 617. Mathematics question number 11. A number x is added to 4 times the number itself. If the result is subtracted from the greater greatest 2 digit odd number, then find the result obtained is. Given x is added to 4x, so that would become 5x. And the result is subtracted from the greatest two-digit number, which is 99. So we get 99 minus 5x. Mathematics question number 12. Find the perimeter of the given figure. We can find the missing lengths and add them to find the perimeter. If we do that, we'll get 73 centimeter. Mathematics question number 13. Identify which of the following are written in Indian and international system of numeration. The first one is written in Indian system. The second one is in international. The third one is in Indian system. The fourth one is also in Indian system. The fifth one is international. And the sixth one is Indian. So the answer is A. Find the smallest missing digit so that the number 455 dash 656 six is completely divisible by 3. The divisibility rule of 3 is that sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. So if we add all these, we will get 31 plus x. 31 is not divisible by 3, but 33 is divisible by 3. So if we add 2 to 31, we will get 33. So the answer is D. Mathematics question number 15. 50 chairs and 15 blackboards were purchased for a school. If chairs cost 115 and blackboard cost 345, then find the total amount of the bill. In order to find the total amount of the bill, cost of one chair into number of chairs, cost of one blackboard into how many blackboards. If we do that, we will get 10,925. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.